what will unleash someone's superpower? Your planet got blown up? A spider bit you. You ate a flower. Sometimes you can become a superhero because your op-ed got published in a newspaper. I want you to meet Sikh Captain America. Sikh is in the religion Sikhism. His name is Vishwajit Singh. And I, my name is Sharon Chan. I'm the Vice President for Innovation, Product, and Development at the Seattle Times. And I helped this superhero unleash his power by saying yes. So I want to rewind you back to 2012. I was the op-ed editor at the Seattle Times. In August of that year, a gunman walked into a temple in Wisconsin, a Sikh temple, opened fire and killed seven people. A couple, um, I then received an op-ed submission from a software developer in Westchester, and his argument was, we need a superhero who fights hate crimes. I said, yes. We went back and forth on edits, we published it. My career kept happening. I went to business school at MIT. I started building community-funded journalism labs. I now lead our product and business intelligence team. But in May of this year, I received an invitation to hear how his story turned out. Um, he had an exhibit opening at the Wing Luke Museum. And I went to the exhibit. And that's where I met Vishwajit for the very first time in person and heard about his life. So Vishwaji grew up in India, and he, um, in 1984, he was 13 when riots broke out. Thousands of sick people were killed, many burned alive, countless women were raped. He survived because a Hindu neighbor hid his family. He moved to America only to again become the target of racial religious hatred um, because of September 11th. For the uh, six were mistaken as Muslims. For two weeks, he did not leave the house. When he did, um, everyone in cars around him flipped him off, cussed him out, or called him Osama. And he turned to cartooning to work out his pain and frustration. When I met Vishwajit, he told me the publication of his op ed in the Seattle Times changed his life. How did it change his life? A photographer read that op ed, reached out to him and said, I want you to dress up as Captain America and be in a photo essay. He had never put on the costume before. He felt he was too skinny. But he did it, and this is one of the photos of him in Central Park. This photo essay led to a Salon article. The Salon article led to a segment on TV. He ended up being on Totally Biased with Kamal Bell on FX. Vishwaji quit his job. <laughs> he quit his job to become a full-time performance artist, storyteller, and educator. He went to the Republican National Convention and stood outside with this sign, talking to delegates as they walked in. He went to Trump's inauguration and stood outside talking to Trump supporters. Um, he's now been covered by national and international media. So I used to be a reporter, journalist for 12 years. I now spend my day talking about products, platforms, ROI, analytics. Um, you know, my team built an analytics hub this year. This is what I look at, right? <laughs> I think many of you guys can relate to this. Um, and I often ask my, have to stop and ask myself, why? Why am I doing this? And I frequently return to the idea of journalists as watchdogs. We hold the powerful accountable, we expose corruption, and we right wrongs. But after meeting Vishwajit and hearing his story, I believe we're more than that. I believe that we're doulas, we're midwives, who help babies come into a new world and take their first few breaths. Because I didn't know it at the time, but when I was talking, when I was helping Vishwajit edit his op-ed, I was actually helping him start a new life. He left this womb, this comfortable cubicle of a coder, and entered the strange new universe where he would carry a shield, fight bigotry and hatred, and try to get paid doing it. <laughs> Journalists as doulas, we help people find their voice. We verify their struggle. We validate their stories, and sometimes, the result is a superhero.